Next, we'll go to Cleveland. Peterson from Mentor, and I teach economics to students at Mentor High School. And uh, my question, uh, Mr. Chairman, how does the Fed maintain the delicate balance between not having political party leanings or pressures, and yet at the same time offer the best objective financial leadership for our country? It's a good question. Um, one of the uh, basic findings of research about central banks is that it really helps an economy to have a strong and independent central bank. And what I mean by that is a central bank that can make monetary policy and other decisions without being influenced by short-term political pressures. The research shows that countries with independent central banks have lower inflation, they have more stable economies, um, and overall more confidence in their currency and so on. So it's very important to have that degree of independence. The reason for this is because monetary policy tends to work with a lag. It takes time for the full effects of monetary policy to be felt. And therefore, uh, you want decisions about monetary policy to be made by people who are not looking at the short run, not looking at the election a few months down the road, but are looking at the longer term and saying what's right for the economy. So independent central banks are very important. Now, there's a quid pro quo for that, though. We're yet, we are in a democracy, and obviously um, uh, the central bank, the Federal Reserve of the United States, has to be accountable, has to be transparent, has to be following a framework given to it by the Congress, and that's, of course, what we do. Um, we are indeed nonpartisan. We do try to make all of our decisions based on uh, technical analysis, based on what's good for the economy, not based on any political considerations. This is the table, by the way, you're sitting here, where we have the Federal Open Market Committee meetings and make decisions about monetary policy. And there is never any discussion around this table about political issues. It's always about where is the economy, where is it going. But given that we are independent and there are uh, a lot of provisions, such as the fact that uh, governors are appointed for 14 years, for example, um, and that the term of the chairman uh, goes across presidential uh, terms, uh, so there are many provisions that give the Federal Reserve a good bit of independence in decision making. But the quid pro quo for that is that we have to be accountable. And we are very accountable by law. I testify twice a year uh, in front of the House and the Senate to explain what monetary policy is doing. And I actually testify many more times than that. Um, our Federal Open Market Committee meetings are followed by a statement three weeks later by detailed minutes. Uh, we provide quarterly projections. I give a quarterly press conference. I meet regularly with people both from the Congress and from the administration. So I'm very responsive personally to um, people in the government. Um, and so for all those reasons, um, we, we try very hard to make sure that we explain what we're doing and that the, and that the uh, elected, uh, uh, the elected uh, folks who are, who are in the Congress or administration uh, can appreciate what we're, we're trying to do. So that's, that's the balance that we try to achieve. Independence in order to make good decisions, but accountability and transparency to make that independence consistent with our democratic framework. 